Hi. My name's Will. Okay, so I recently made this animation for a company called Human Better, and I've got a bunch of notifications popping up in the air, and I eventually smash all of them, and beautiful relaxing clouds come out of thin air. I really like this video, and I had a few people on Instagram ask me how to do this effect, and I'm more than happy to share with you how I did it. It's actually a super easy effect. It's basically just tracking. So let's hop into After Effects. Here's my footage. You probably want to film your footage similarly. Kind of slow moving but handheld to make the 3D effect significant. Because if the shot's just still, then the effect isn't really cool. It's only cool if there's like a noticeable movement. Okay, and now you just have to come to the right of After Effects and there's a panel called Tracker. You drop this down and the best button in After Effects camera or track camera, but click on that button. After Effects is going to automatically track your entire clip. And when it's done, you'll see all these bright, colorful tracking points. I like to call them Skittles. And you can just pick a few Skittles that have like a nice firm target. And if you click on that target and you should create solid and camera. So treat this solid as if it's going to be where these messages and pop-ups are going to be. So right now, since it's flat against the ground, if we were to track a notification to it right now, it would just track flat to the ground. So the first step is just rotating on the X, Y, and Z axis, this black solid until it's like facing the camera. And because we want notifications all over the screen, let's just scale this black solid to cover everything. We can turn down the transparency a little bit to see how it tracked, and it tracked really well. And honestly, the hard part's over. Now all you've gotta do is right click on that solid and pre-compose it. Choose the top option. And now if we go into this pre-composition and delete the, the pink solid that I created, now anything we put in the solid is going to be perfectly tracked into our video. So essentially the effect's done. Now let me show you what it does. So if we go to Google and get like a notification, like an image you can download, or I got some notification videos from Footage Crate, we can put that into this empty composition. And if we go back to the main composition, bam, giant Facebook counter, perfectly tracked into the scene. But so now the rest is just fun. You can just duplicate and scale down these counters. And if you duplicate them and offset them at different times, they'll just randomly pop up in the main comp and in the, the animation comp. Because once you have a composition that you can put anything into, that is already tracked. The rest is easy because it's just drag and drop. And then I'll give you some quick tips on how to blend in these notifications really well. Always gotta throw in a glow. I use Deep Glow from AE Scripts, and I also use Glow from the normal After Effects plugin. Throwing glow onto the comp with the animations works better, so you don't have to put a glow effect on every single notification. Next is putting a Gaussian blur on random notifications in the sequence, because making some of them blurry and some of them not will create like a depth perception like some of them are further in the background instead of them all looking just flat and completely in focus cool way to add depth clients always like that oh yes and make them kind of like less transparent maybe set the opacity to like 50 to 70 because you want to get like the see-through hologram vibes if you're going for like 3d tracked graphics. And the last tip, I completely forgot about this one, and it's my favorite. If you go into the animation comp with all the notifications and hit Control A, so you have all of them selected, hit S to drop down the scale option, hold Alt and click on the stopwatch. And if you type in wiggle, comma, tin, dash, point nine, when you click off, you'll see that they all just do this little wiggle. And when you look back into the main composition and you see that all of them are wiggling and also 3D tracked, it's cool seeing them have their own motion while also being a part of something else's motion. It just gives engaging energy, like the notifications themselves are alive. So yeah, we like that. We love little details. And then probably what I did was add more glows. Woo! some flashing adjustment layers, but that's all easy stuff. You guys know how to do that. And then of course, color correct the whole thing. And that is how you do this animation where you 3D track pop-up notifications into thin air. All right, great. I think that's it. I really liked that post. I've been doing a lot of 2D animation recently and I, I 
with it. Well, it's like 2D with the blend of like real video. Okay, and I am excited to announce that today's sponsor is like a freelance job. So in other words, if you stick around, you'll see that today's sponsor is a sick toy company that hired me to make a commercial for them. So thank you everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. You can DM me on Instagram if you have questions about editing. And of course, a massive thank you to today's sponsor, Top Secret Toys. Better than a video game. Skill and accuracy required. State of the art technology. Now introducing to you the most exciting target game ever. The Hovertech Drone Battle by Top Secret Toys. Nothing is more satisfying than shooting a free flying drone out of midair. Just grab a friend and one of the Hovertech blasters, and you can try and shoot down a moving target. This self-flying drone has patented flight control technology from the inventors of self-flying toys. Just watch the impact shutoff sensors work in slow motion. This state-of-the-art technology is what allows it to be extremely durable and built to last. Yeah. Buy one for yourself or someone you know because this would be an amazing gift. Because what's more fun than blasting stuff in a video game? Blasting stuff in real life. Listen, quarantine's boring. We're all going back into lockdown. Might as well get one. It's fun and it's inside use. <sighs> all right, where there's a will, there's a way. My name is Will. My name is Will. I haven't. Guys, I'm moving to LA in a week and I'm stressed about literally every aspect of my life. So if I seem off, it's because my life's weird.